Hey, it's good to see you. Thanks a lot for coming by Barlow Barbecue. Today we've got a recipe for a Cajun seasoning that we think you're going to really enjoy. And we thought it'd be cool to try that out on some chicken. So we've got a whole chicken that we're going to smoke on the Weber Jumbo Joe. It's a great day for some barbecue. Let's get started. So today's video is pretty straightforward. It's really all about the Cajun seasoning recipe. Now Martha is here to show you how to put that together and we will have the recipe right down below in the description box. Just click show more. So I'm gonna let Martha take it away and I'll be back with you guys in just a little bit. This recipe makes a lot of Cajun seasoning so you'll have extra to put on everything. It starts out with a lot of paprika. Now I have three different kinds of paprika in here, heavy on the smoked paprika, but you can just use plain old paprika if that's all you have. Now remember, I'm almost Canadian, so I like to put Montreal steak seasoning in everything. So here we have a bunch of Montreal steak seasoning going in. Celery salt. A little bit of celery seed as well. Lots of black pepper. Dried thyme. We've got some basil and some oregano here. Cayenne pepper. Some onion powder and some garlic powder. And just a dash of mustard powder. There you have it. Whisk all that together and you're ready to shake. We whisk together all those spices and put them in this fancy shaker. How professional is that, right? Look at that labeling. Branding, I tell you what. So we're just gonna shake these spices in with some of the soft butter. We're just going to mix that all together. We're going to pop that in the freezer and make it into sort of a compound butter that we can slice and put underneath the skin of our chicken. A piece of plastic rack, pardon my weight. It is a little windy here today, but it's gorgeous. You can feel fall in the air. Let's put that dude on there. Don't worry about any leftovers. You can spread it on toast. No one will mind. Just kind of roll that up, shape it into whatever you want. We're just gonna pop this in the freezer for about 15 to 30 minutes or until it's hard and we can slice it. Here's the chicken we're gonna be smoking today. This is a four and a half pound whole chicken that we've already cut in half. And this is just the right size for that Jumbo Joe. And here's that compound butter. It's been in the freezer for about 30 minutes. It's sliced up, ready to go. Now take half your chicken and put it into a bowl. It's a, just a little less messy this way because we're gonna add those slices of compound butter. You wanna open up the skin, get some nice pockets for that butter. Flip it over to the other side, do the same process. This is really gonna add a nice layer of flavor along with the Cajun seasoning. Now the next step is to add a little bit of olive oil. This is gonna act as the binder for our Cajun seasoning. Flip it over and be sure to get the other side. Okay, now it's time to add the Cajun seasoning. You wanna use a generous amount, so just heap it on there. And the nice thing about using a bowl is as you shake on that rub, it's gonna collect inside the bowl and as you move the chicken around, it's just gonna get coated with more and more rub. These are looking beautiful already. I can't wait to get them on the Jumbo Joe and start smoking. Now it's time to fire up the Jumbo Joe. I've got a chimney starter. I'm filling halfway with charcoal and that's gonna be enough to get this cook started. From there, I'm just gonna let it go. I can add charcoal later if I need to. I'm not gonna monitor grill temps. This is purely a recreational cook. All right, this charcoal should be ready in about 10 minutes. While waiting on this charcoal to get ready, I wanna show you guys something we're gonna be using in today's cook, this right here. This is from Adrenaline Barbecue Company, and this is what they call the Slow and Sear. Now it's just the right size to fit in that Weber Jumbo Joe. I've got the regular sized version right here in my uh, regular size kettle, okay? 
And Adrenaline Barbecue Company just sent this to us, and I wanted to give a shout-out to David. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. We're looking forward to using this. This was a really nice gift to get. So you guys go check them out. If you don't have a slow and sear for your Jumbo Joe or for your kettle, we'll have a link right down below so you can get in touch with them and see all the great accessories they have for the Weber kettle. Now here's the charcoal we lit earlier, that's ready to go. I'm going to add a couple chunks of apple wood and get the grill on there and we're ready to add the chicken. We're going to smoke this chicken until it hits an internal temp of 165 degrees. And uh, again, since this is my first time using this combination of the Slow and Sear and Jumbo Joe, I'm not sure how long that's going to take. Let's just uh, check on this in about 45 minutes and see how it's doing. All right, it's 45 minutes. Let's take a look at this chicken. Ooh, that's looking beautiful. That's looking so good already. What I want to do now is just check the temperature. And let's see, that's looking 103. And let's take a look at this other one. And that's about the same. So we definitely have a ways to go. That's all good. I've got nothing but time today. So get the lid on and I'll see you all soon. Folks, it's been three and a half hours and everything's been going along just fine. We do want to brush a little bit of melted butter just to help that skin cook up nice. Oh, that does look good, doesn't it? Now we did check the temperature on this chicken and it was reading about 145. Again, we're shooting for 165 degrees, so let's get the lid on and we'll leave it alone for now. I'll see you after a little bit. Folks, it's been a long day. We're closing in on five hours of smoking time. And you know, we're getting the feeling that this chicken's gotta be done by now. But the thermometer is saying that we still haven't hit our target temp. So we're gonna check this the old fashioned way. Martha went ahead and sliced into the chicken breast there. And you know what? This is looking done to us. So it must have been an issue with a thermometer. And that just goes to show that sometimes you just got to go with your barbecue intuition. Gadgets be damned. So let's get these chicken halves off of here, get them sliced up, and we could do a taste test. Well, cheers, y'all. Cheers. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us today. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me today. Yep, my <laughs> pleasure. Looking forward to trying this chicken, even though it took a little longer than I was expecting, but I think that thermometer was fooling around with us for a little while. All good things come to those who wait. And you know, that's all right. It's barbecue, and I like to let it, you know, do its thing. So it's all good. I had a great day. Let's try out this chicken. I got a little bite of the chicken breast right here dipped in some crystal hot sauce. I got it straight up. Mm. Yeah, I'll tell you what already. Mm -hmm. Boom. <laughs> I'm going to say, I got to hand it to you, Martha. That Cajun seasoning is awesome. I was pretty excited about it, too. It's got a nice kick to it, too. A lot of good flavor. The, the Jumbo Joe performed awesome. The Slow It's here just like held the temp. I love those little guys. Yeah. Well, the recipe for everything right down below in the description box, you guys should definitely try out this Cajun seasoning. Yes, you should. Yeah, you should. So we're going to wrap this one up. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us. We love you guys. Until next time, smoke them if you got them. That's right. Bye-bye. <laughs>